Hello, and welcome to another episode of Reading Reddit with Amber. Today we have another round of outrageous wedding stories. Our first story is, Am I the jerk for being angry about my parents spending the entire family wedding fund on my sister? I'm the middle of three. I have a younger sister, 25, and an older brother, 30. I'm 27. My parents, over the years, saved up $30,000 to be split between my sister and I for when we eventually get married, which would be $15,000 each. My sister got engaged before me, and they planned their wedding for April 2020. As you can imagine, this couldn't happen. They picked an all-inclusive venue and spent the entire $15,000. Unfortunately, their venue has been horrible, denied any refund. Wedding insurance doesn't cover pandemics, and they're now going under anyway. The $15,000 is just... gone. My sister now wants to elope, which my parents and other family are absolutely horrified by. She and her fiancé say they can't afford to pay for a wedding themselves because of their job situations. The only thing she has from the first wedding that she could take to a second is her wedding dress, which would still need to be altered. The women in the family have been crying about it in every conversation I've had with them and begging my sister not to elope. They'll figure it out. My parents now want to take the other $15,000 and give my sister another wedding, obviously at a different venue. It ended up being a huge fight of accusing me of blaming my sister for causing the pandemic, wanting her to elope and not get her wedding because I'm jealous, and why save it when I'm still single and will be for years now anyway? I'm 27. I'm not an old maid. I'm not jealous of my sister. I was happy for her before all of this, but it would have been nice to know that when I got married, my parents could help me out too. I'm not saying it's her fault that the first one didn't happen, but factually she would be getting two weddings paid for and I'll be getting zero. It's probably happening regardless of what I say, but am I wrong to be a little angry about it? Reddit says OP is not the jerk here and I agree. The parents told each daughter that she would get $15,000 for her wedding. I could see it if the parents wanted to take some portion of the money and use it on the sister, but still have at least half of it left over for OP. What happened with the sister's wedding was outside of her control, and I understand why the parents wouldn't want to leave her high and dry. However, to give her all the money and have nothing left for OP seems grossly unfair, especially since this sounds more like it's the parents' dream, since according to OP, the sister is fine with an elopement. And honestly, you can have a beautiful elopement for very little money, and you can still have some close family members there. So if the parents want to kick in a few dollars so the sister can have maybe a photographer and some cake at her elopement, that's fine, but it would be completely unfair to spend all of the money on the sister and have nothing left for OP. Our next story is, am I the jerk for not wanting to cover up my tattoos for a wedding? Hi, this is my first time posting on Reddit. I check this page a lot, but I never made an account. Also, I'm not a native English speaker. I'm a 24-year-old female, and my best friend, a 25-year-old female, who all named Clara, is getting married this August. Not sure if the wedding will still be on due to COVID, but she hasn't made any announcement to cancel. In our country, the COVID measures have lightened up a bit. Anyway, she has been busy planning the wedding since last year. She has asked me and a couple of other of our mutual friends to be her bridesmaids, and we gladly said yes. Our bridesmaids' dresses are all similar looking. It's a dress with no sleeves and shows a bit of your shins. The dresses looked pretty, and I was excited to wear them. This is where I might be a jerk. So last Saturday, Clara called me about the wedding, saying that she was excited and all. Just small, casual talk about the wedding. Suddenly, she said, You are covering up your tattoos, right? I didn't know what to say, and was kind of confused why I should cover them up, so I just mumbled, No? She then said that she wanted nice pictures for her wedding, and that my tattoos are standing out, and it would look better if I covered them up. I was still confused, because I didn't understand why I should suddenly cover them up. She never had a problem with them before. I have four tattoos, three on my arms and one on my ankle. So I asked, is it okay to wear a different dress instead of covering my tattoos? She didn't want that and started to get annoyed and told me to just cover them up and that it isn't very hard to do so. At this point, I get annoyed too. So I asked why she made me a bridesmaid if she knew that I had tattoos and wouldn't fit in her nice pictures with my tattoos and dress. She laughed out and said that she expected that I would do this for her because it's her wedding. We hung up after that and haven't talked since. I asked my friend, who was also a bridesmaid, what she thought about it. She said that it was kind of lousy, but I could cover it up for just a day. I experimented with lots of foundation and it looks bad. You can still see it a bit. I just don't want to cover it up. So Reddit, am I the jerk? And then we have some updates. Update 1. 
Well, thank you guys for the helpful comments. I cannot reply to all of you, but I'll just state most of the things here. A lot of you guys have asked about my tattoos. They aren't anything violent or offensive, just a bird and some flowers. Some of you guys suggested Photoshop. I texted her today about it and she said that it's more expensive to request that and she'd rather have me cover them up by makeup. At this point, I'm kind of iffy on the idea of me being a bridesmaid. I tried covering my tattoos up and bought some other products that I could try, like Dermacol. However, it still looks odd and I'd rather not have them covered. I also showed a pic to her of my arms covered in makeup and she said to put more on it. LOL, I don't think she understands my problem here. Update 2. Okay, wow, this post really blew up. A lot of you have asked some questions and I'll answer it here. No, her family isn't religious. Even her brother has tattoos, so I don't think her family dislikes them. She is probably going for a certain look for her wedding. Also, someone asked if it would be only during the pictures, but she doesn't want my tattoos to be seen in any pictures. Another thing, I do have to admit the tutorials that I watched were low budget ones. I'm on quite a budget and the good makeup that you guys suggested is too expensive for me. And it would probably stain my dress. My tattoos are on the inside of my arms. I still don't want my tattoos to be covered because they are part of me. However, she is a dear friend of mine, so that's the reason why I experimented with makeup even though I'm not up for it. I don't want to end a good friendship because of this. I came up with a solution. Many of you have suggested to have it professionally done and that she pays for it. I think that's a good idea. I'll call her tomorrow and talk about it. Final update. I don't know how to do that yellow update thingy, but here's my final update. I got off the phone with Clara. It did not go well. I asked her if she could pay for the makeup artist so my tattoos can be professionally covered. She was silent for some seconds and then she said, why the blank should I be paying for that? I told her that I have no money to actually cover it up without it looking iffy. She declined paying for it, saying that the wedding is already expensive and her paying for my tattoos would be too much and she expected that I would carry that burden and pay for it myself because I'm her friend. I could tell she started getting angry. So I replied that I didn't have any money for it and if I would do my own makeup for it, that it would stain my dress because my tattoos are on the inside of my arms. Then I laid out the other options we could try like shawls or a little cardigan, but she disregarded again because she wants me to match her other bridesmaids. So at this point, I'm out of options, so I asked her, what do you want me to do then? She said, you'll be paying for your tattoo coverage. I said I won't be doing that. And then she ended the phone call with, I guess you're uninvited then, and hung up. I don't know if it's wedding stress or whatever, but I'm done with her right now. She has been acting way too entitled these past months, and I'm done trying to please her to have her perfect wedding. By the way, even her mom called me up to apologize for her behavior this afternoon. She probably has been acting like a brat the entire time. Anyway, problem solved. Reddit says OP is not the jerk here, and so do I. This should go without saying, but people are not props for your wedding. You are choosing them because they are special to you. It shouldn't matter if their appearance doesn't fit with the vibe of the wedding. OP offered a totally reasonable compromise to have the bride-to-be pay for a professional tattoo cover-up. It's not fair to expect a friend to shell out major cash for something they are doing as a favor to you. If the bride-to-be really values the aesthetics of her wedding over the people, then it sounds like she's not a very good person and probably not someone you want to be friends with. Her next story is, Am I the jerk for cutting my best friend out of my wedding because she refuses to wear contacts instead of glasses? Yes, we have a little bit of a theme here. My husband and I will be getting married in August. I have seven bridesmaids, one of which was supposed to be my best friend, Rachel. Rachel and I have been best friends since we were four, and I love the girl to death. Rachel wears glasses as she was born with a squint and has an astigmatism. When the topic came up, I told her I'd like her to wear contacts for my wedding as they're easier to work with when it comes to makeup, more aesthetically pleasing, and make sure there's no glare in wedding photos, which is obviously essential. Rachel refused as she struggles wearing contacts as they don't help her sight at all, apparently. Her prescription is supposedly too strong. I told her she couldn't be a part of my wedding party if she wasn't going to listen to my requests, and my friends have all said that it was really uncalled for. It's my wedding, so I think it should be a given that I get what I want, but everyone seems to think I've been really unfair. Am I the jerk? Oh, yes, OP, you are the jerk. Reddit says so, and I do too. Again, what matters here is that you and your loved ones are able to celebrate together. Not that you have the most Pinterest perfect event. 
my partner and many of his family members wear glasses, and I wouldn't dream of asking any of them to compromise their ability to see just for the sake of pictures, not that glasses are unsightly in the first place. A good photographer should be able to minimize glare issues since lots of people wear glasses to weddings. Also, OP, you don't get to decide how serious your friend's visual impairment is. If she says that contact lenses won't work well enough for her, the odds are that she is telling the truth. It sounds like Rachel is better off without OP's friendship. Our next story is Bride won't allow guests to wear masks despite wedding being in a pandemic. I am the maid of honor in a wedding that will have at least 50 guests in three weeks and have just been told I'm not allowed to protect myself from coronavirus. Help! Yesterday in a group chat to all of her bridesmaids, the bride-to-be let us know that there will be no masks allowed for the ceremony or photos because she doesn't want them in her photos. I understand where she is coming from, but when asked if we would be allowed to safely social distance, we are told no because what kind of wedding does that? I am to walk arm in arm down the aisle with a groomsman, and we will not be staying six feet apart because how would that even work? She went off on us for pushing back and told us that if we were uncomfortable, we could feel free not to attend. It should also be noted that my husband is their officiant, so me not attending pretty much means they have to find a new maid of honor as well as someone new to marry them. We suggested cute masks that we found on Etsy as guest favors, as well as using the fabric from our altered dresses to make masks for the bridal party. She didn't respond to any of our suggestions, and I got a message today from the future groom letting me know that they are making a couple of compromises. We would be walking individually down the aisle and will be standing three feet apart, except for in pictures where we will be close. I was told the pictures would be quick, and we can hold our breath when standing next to someone. The bride herself, I guess, is still not talking to me or any of the other bridesmaids. I totally understand where they are coming from. I get married, and the last few weeks were so stressful that after the wedding, my husband and I said for years that we wish we'd eloped on a beach. I can't imagine what it would have been like had there been a global pandemic thrown in the mix. Their original wedding date was May 1, then May 23, and then they finally settled on June 26. The bride was upset that our concerns were not brought up until three weeks before the wedding, but to be honest, I didn't realize that my choice to protect myself was not an option. I just kind of assumed we'd be allowed to wear masks if we chose to, so I didn't bring it up. My husband helps his mom with a lot of things because she is high risk and can't really go anywhere, so it would be a big deal if he got the virus because he is the only person she has. When I expressed my concerns to the groom, he also did not see the big deal because we are not a bunch of strangers. He claims everyone is being safe. To me, the majority of their wedding party and guests are strangers though, so this does not comfort me. I'm really upset because being told I have the freedom to opt out if I feel unsafe is not really true. This is the type of girl who will never speak to me again if I drop out of her wedding party and my husband drops out as officiant three weeks before the wedding just because I feel uncomfortable. Basically, I'm not getting the option to opt out. I'm being given the option to stop being friends with her over this as well as ruining her wedding, which is not what I want for her at all. I want her to have a great day and I'm really sorry that the pandemic is here to ruin that, but it's reality in what we are dealing with right now. The fact that we are not allowed the option to keep ourselves safe seems so irresponsible for me in the wake of the pandemic. Statistics and experts told us in May that June 26 would not be a better date to hold a large gathering, regardless of states allowing things to reopen. In fact, I received a notice in the mail yesterday letting me know that a wedding that was scheduled for October is being postponed. Those people know what's up. Both the bride and groom have a parent who is high risk. This doesn't make sense to me, and I really don't know what to do. Sure, I can self-quarantine for two weeks before and then two weeks after the wedding, but I don't know how to trust that everyone in attendance is doing the same. I feel like our friendship was really strong, but now I'm feeling like I don't matter as much as her happiness and pretty pictures. Anybody have some advice on how to handle this? TLDR, the bride isn't budging on no mask for the ceremony. She compromised by not making us walk arm in arm down the aisle and says we can hold our breath when standing next to someone. This one was posted to r slash relationship advice. So there isn't a jerk or not jerk verdict, but people generally agree that OP is in the right. The one objection some people raised was that she should have told the bride to be sooner that she wanted to wear a mask, but OP explained that she didn't imagine it would be an issue, which makes sense. And look, I can agree with the bride to be that even nice looking masks are not aesthetically pleasing, but we are talking about health and safety here. My brother and his fiance wore masks to my wedding, and you can see my brother's mask in the handful of family photos we got, but I was just happy to have them there to celebrate with us. The bride and groom need to put their guests' health and safety front and center, 
even if it leads to less visually appealing photos. All right, we are on to our last story and I've got a good one for you. Am I the jerk for not wanting to share my wedding day with my brother? I'm a 27 year old female. My fiance is a 28 year old male and he and I have been dating for about six years now and he proposed last year. We started planning a wedding almost immediately because we want to start our family soon. We're both stable in our jobs. We found a house and are working on a down payment, etc. Basically, we didn't see a reason to wait. So the date has been set for late September and the venue will be able to support our large number of guests, around 200. My brother, 25 year old male, and his fiance, 24 year old female, recently got engaged and also started wedding planning. My future sister-in-law reached out and asked if she could talk to me about wedding planning. Thinking she wanted help choosing colors or something, I agreed. She basically asked me if I could get married in the afternoon and she could get married an hour or two later and then we share the reception. She pitched the idea as a great way to become sisters and that she knows how close my brother and I are and that this would mean the world to him. In reality, I know that they aren't financially well off and she wants the fancy wedding without the fancy wedding price tag. They're both grad students and I assume that she's a little jealous of the elaborate wedding that I have planned. I've been saving for this day for a long time. I didn't really know what to say but managed to get out, but that's mine and fiance's wedding. We planned it for us and want it to be about us. She then exploded on me in anger and tears and said that I didn't understand how hurtful it was to see that amazing wedding I'm planning and know she couldn't have something like that. She called me a selfish jerk and heartless. I told her I waited to get married so that I could afford the wedding I wanted and she told me she wants to get married before she's old and dried up like some people. Then I started crying and ran off to go home. I got a call from my brother later. He stated that while he was on board with sharing the wedding day, he's up with future sister-in-law about how she approached it. He asked me to please reconsider and that they would help pay for the extra guests, meaning her friends and family who I don't know. I was still hurting from her comments and told him that I didn't want to share my wedding day and I wasn't even sure if I wanted future sister-in-law there for my wedding day. My brother quickly said goodbye and hung up. I haven't heard from him or future sister-in-law in a few days. Am I being selfish for wanting a day for fiance and me? I feel bad that they don't have the funds to get married right now, but I was in grad school at their age and couldn't afford to get married either. So I waited because I wanted a huge celebration to share with our family and friends. Reddit says OP is not the jerk and I agree. While I think it is grossly unfair how underpaid grad students are, and I say this as someone who was a grad student for eight years, that does not give the brother and his bride-to-be the right to commandeer someone else's wedding. If they really want a lavish wedding, then they need to take a cue from OP and put off getting married until they can afford it. OP is under no obligation to finance her brother's wedding, and it was completely inappropriate for him and the bride-to-be to make that suggestion in the first place. Those are all the posts I have for you for today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving it a like or letting me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.